This top 10 list of scary ghost sighting videos are supposedly real and deserve further analysis. An abundance of paranormal activity means Stephanie Elmager is never truly home alone. I'm gonna walk around my house. The reason I'm filming this right now is I'm trying to catch some paranormal activity on my recorder. As you can see, there is nobody in my house. Do you hear that? My TV just came on. A kid's program politely tells her to get out of the house, and then the lights turn on by themselves. Oh, and the alarm just went off. Do you see this? There is nobody in this house. The TV just came on. Holy. If that was a ghost, give me another sign. Anything. Anything. You gotta be kidding me. Does everybody see that? She crosses the kitchen to show us where the light switches are and... There is nobody in this house. Look, the lights are right there. If anybody at all, I'm gonna turn it off. It was even up. Look, if anybody... Holy... What the... A bedroom is haunted by a pale figure with a long, crooked neck who is either standing behind or on top of her bed. When she does a double take, she finds it much closer now, peering at her from around the door. Oh my god. Okay, I don't get scared very often. Oh. That just freaks me out. Okay. Let's walk back in there. I agree with her completely. I saw it too, so either this is a real ghost sighting, which I'm almost sure it is, or we are both losing our minds. I am not losing my mind. There is nobody in here. Look, there is nobody anywhere. Bizarre live news footage of a ghost spotted in India has recently gone viral. A group of friends are posing for the camera on New Year's when what's been reported as a real apparition floats past. At 30 seconds, the figure definitely takes a distinctively human shape and appearance. I can see its head, body, and two arms reaching out for them. One of them turns around and he doesn't exactly freak out or anything like that, but if you track his line of sight, he's definitely looking right at where it is and there's no reason for him to be looking over there. It might be smoke except they are standing near a gas pump so I hope that's not it. Give me your take on this because it might actually be one of the creepier moments from live TV. Vlad Reznov checks out an abandoned hospital in their scariest Russian paranormal exploration yet. After 14 minutes, they find an uncovered underground entrance. His assistant sees it first, a ghost with long black hair over its face, standing in the doorway. They escape underground and don't look back, but I did and here's my thoughts. Overall, I don't think this video is real. The figure looks like a generic Hollywood ghost sighting. The way it's positioned perfectly center in the doorway with hair over its face is a classic pose from the ring and unlikely to be real. There's no set rules for what a real ghost sighting looks like, but with that said, I'm pretty sure this is not it. Mr. Fitry is exploring the haunted PLKN building, a youth program in Malaysia that's said to be haunted every since a mysterious case of mass food sickness led to the abandonment of the whole program. He's caught some creepy moments 17 minutes into the live stream when someone donates. His camera freezes and the image whitens as something passes by. The only time his camera seems to freeze is when paranormal activity is happening in front of him. He 
runs into the room it was literally just in and the ghost is gone. There's no jump cut editing and this was on live stream, so the figure should have still been there if it was a person. He stands outside of the window to see if it will return. Allah Akbar! Allah Akbar! Allah Akbar! Allah Akbar! Allah Akbar! Wait! Allah Akbar! Wait, Gino, it's here! The figure is in the next room. Now is the chance for a paranormal encounter up close. Wait! Wait! By the time he gets back, he needs to lay down and think about what he just saw. Apparently being surrounded by that much paranormal energy has drained all of his. Dominic Marquez of Albuquerque, New Mexico says you're definitely going to believe his ghost sighting caught on CCTV video is real when you see it. Somebody is walking down the street when all of the sudden, they're simply not. Ghost. It's real, dog. The person morphs into a floating orb and briefly becomes human again before going back into its second form. And to top off an already bizarre video, this creepy thing happens next. Bro, I'm telling you, there's nobody there. What the? <laughs> The neighbor's rather bright motion detector lights turn on when the ghost walks by. Nothing's there. If it was a CCTV glitch on Dominic's camera, then why would motion lights go on across the street? It looks like he was right about me believing this paranormal video is real. Amy Admin wonders if an actual apparition was caught on home security camera haunting her place. Her strange sighting happened at 7 in the morning. A vaguely human-shaped figure walks to the curb and mysteriously disappears. Some scary stuff is going on across the street from her house. Or is it? Perhaps it is a reflection of a car hitting the brakes. The alleged apparition does seem to come and go with the appearance of a car. The only problem with this theory is that there's nothing here for the brake lights to reflect off of. Maybe a piece of glass on the ground or something. So what's been caught on tape? Paranormal activity or a trick of light? I don't know and now I'm as creeped out as Amy Admin is. A few days ago, strange sounds started coming from an old shower stall in this house that Alejandro has not used in years. He wasn't sure if it was rats or something, so he went up there with a camera and this scary sighting is what's been caught on video. Twenty seconds after showing us nothing was in the shower, this ghostly figure presses against the glass, flies upwards and disappears. This almost has to be CGI because there are absolutely no editing cuts and the way they fade away doesn't look like somebody simply stepping away from the glass. He reinvestigates and the shower is just as empty as before. A Malaysian man is determined to rid his home of a spirit that has been haunting his family. After 8 minutes of meditation and recital, a section of the wall begins to move like someone's pressing on it. If it was the wind, then this object moves when it's all the way over here. Shortly afterwards, this strange sighting is caught on camera. It looks like a piece of dust or hair to some. Others see a special island spirit called a Pokong that's twisted tightly in white robes. This part could be CGI, but that doesn't explain the object spinning on the floor by itself, away from him and away from any potential breeze. A ghost hunter named Solo Ambush goes exploring an abandoned morgue in the woods full of creepy things. The place has been deserted for years, but the smell of bodies has buried itself into the morgue walls. This this table surface must be where they were prepared for burial. On it he finds a needle to sew whatever shut. 
He puts it in his pocket, which possibly upsets the spirits because that's when the paranormal activity begins. He puts an object on the table and invites any spirits nearby to make it move. A defiant spirit moves things behind him instead. When he goes to investigate the noise, he finds nothing, and then he gets an idea. Okay, let's switch off the light. A figure in red silently passes across the floor of the haunted, abandoned mortuary with its head down. He runs after it and finds only the stench of decay is left in its wake, nothing else. He says this ghost sighting could be a reflection of light, but he is standing in a dark hallway with the lights off, so I'm not sure I agree with that one. Like many of the previously haunted places he's gone exploring in the past, what he's caught on tape in this building is most likely paranormal and terrifying. And as he leaves, Something slams the door closed behind him. The ghost hunter is no longer welcome to go exploring this haunted place. Not that he ever was to begin with. I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next 5 seconds? Because I upload 4 new scary videos every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Number 1. A scary ghost video from other studios has people wondering what's even real anymore. Normally, I'm hesitant about any channel that has studio or production in the name for obvious reasons, but as one person commented, this video looks compelling. This channel says they have a studio in the name because they produce beats, not ghost videos. Okay, valid reason. Let's look. So his friend Cody has been experiencing some weird activity that he thinks could be paranormal. Creepy stuff like the sink running and flickering lights with no one touching the switch. Cody soon got into the habit of recording video whenever he was in the house, just so he could have some evidence to show his friends to prove he's not a liar. This short clip is one of his most terrifying for sure. He comes back to a trashed kitchen after stepping out to talk to his girlfriend on the phone for 15 minutes. Everyone can see the open cabinets and tilted chair, but only Cody noticed the figure peering at him from the very top of a tall doorway at an impossible angle. He says the resolution is higher on the original video, and this is what the still image looks like without the compression from uploading on YouTube. The difference between the two is so major that I'm almost positive this has to be a photoshop, but if it's real, he should never walk into that room again, or the whole house for that matter. Bogdan Riva of a Russian YouTube channel called Lost World has become obsessed with exploring an abandoned haunted apartment building. Paranormal activity here is hard to catch for a person, so he sets up cameras to see what's...